Anwar Ganesh, Senior Biomedical Engineer. Welcome back to my channel, Ganesh SBME Special Advisor. Today our topic is, what are the basic needs, tools to do service the medical equipment as a biomedical engineer. So, as a biomedical engineer, as a service biomedical engineer, what are the most important sources to check the equipment? So, as a biomedical engineer, without what are the things not survive the job? And what are the basic tools, requirement for do the services to the equipment as a biomedical engineer? So, today topic is what are the basic tools? So, today what are the tools I want to show you in, in practical life? So, I, I have many tools which are the basic requirement. So, one by one I will show you and I will give the function of all tools. Okay, friends? Yes. Okay. Next, today, first of all, for any, by any biomedical service engineer, multimeter, see. This is multimeter. This is multimeter and this one fluke, fluke model and different types of companies are available in the market. Any multimeter, we can check the continuity and components of the ratings and functioning of the PCB board and basic condition of the say, equipment. So, for all things, for all medical devices, need to check this monitor. Understand friends? I hope you can understand. This is the most essential tool kit because of wherever you go, first you have to check the power supply and connections and everything is right or not. We need to clarify by using this multimeter. Understand friends? So, especially as a biomedical engineer, this is the essential part in the service sector, in workshop. Understand friends, in this multimeter, many parameters are there, many functions are available and we can do many functions at all situations. In different way, we can apply on this. So, what is multimeter? So, what is multimeter? Do you know? Simply, we can find out the values, accurate value of the components which are placed in the medical devices on the PCB board. Yes, friends? Yes. So, next one. Soldering gun. Soldering gun and lead. So, these are the set of soldering functioning. If any wires cutting, in any wires jointing and if any, co any components replacing, if any defect, if you found the components in the, in the, on the medical devices, so we can find out and resolve the problem by using the soldering gun. It functioning Wire, disconnect the wires and connect the wires and replace the components and place the components. So, removing and fixing, we can use these things, especially in electronic devices. Next one, this one, spanel kit set. This one, spanel kit set. In this panel kit set, all types of sizes 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, this type of available. So, mostly this panel kit used in multiple devices, wherever requirement, especially ventilators and especially huge, huge, huge equipments, for example, ventilators, anesthesia ventilators, 
and many things wherever you wherever need to open long screw drive screws and what are the things very critical to open by using this we can open open the inside parts this is spanel kit next one this one cutting player cutting player it can be used to whenever wise cutting lengthy wise and sometimes few components a few things are cannot removable by using this we can open and removing fixing what are the relevant to the medical equipments so sometimes it will helps to open the internal parts and panels everything what are the medical devices example may this one may mostly used in major equipments and sometimes small uh, minor equipments also and depend on applications wherever it will use we can use by use this cutting player we can do so many things for service to the medical equipments and next one nose player c nose player by using this we can fixing monitors patient monitors and ventilators and syringe pumps and bipap cpap wherever it is sometimes knobs knobs opening and many things sometimes screws are very small cannot possible to open so by using this nose player we can do the works next one this one power cut power supply power supply cord three pin this one mostly why why should have as a biomedical engineer because of if as a biomedical engineer if go uh, attend any call and check the mission that time if if power supply not available then it is possible to check by using this power card we can check the mission condition of the patient monitoring system not only patient monitoring all medical devices we can use this power card and by using by using this power card we can check in the power condition of the medical devices so we have to keep this standby next one cutter so this one cutter mostly we use it to a cutter or stripper why stripper so this this one this one we can use to wire insulation removing when 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 soldering when wire cutting when 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 wire soldering the soldering two connections then we need to remove the insulations so then we can use it and wire cutting wire stripping wire for closing we can use this wire stripper next one teflon tape teflon like this teflon tape mostly it will be used in leakage especially in ventilator hose pipes and oxygenator and anesthesia ventilators and many things wherever leaking situations so by operating this fixing this teflon tape we can stop the leakages air 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 pressure air pressure and oxygen releasing next one this one allen key set see friends this one allen key set in this allen key set different sizes are available depend on applicable we can use this tool kit so this tool kit mostly philips equipments and syringe pumps and ecg machines this is very useful because of this type of allen key set mostly available screws so by using this we can open and closing and possible to do service the equipments next 
sample syringe because of why should have this one because of for syringe pumps any breakdowns anything in patient side not possible to do check all things so if you have spare stand by ourselves then we can check it and we can operate what are the function of the syringe pump we can give the accurate value and we can give the update to the user department immediately so that's the reason we should have and one more thing is tester we know very well tester actually basics this is mostly available in electrician so but as a biomedical engineer we are we have multimeter but some cases multimeter no need with less time we can check the power coming or not absence or presence we can find out we know very well this one next one insulation tape friends this one friends insulation tape insulation means which is cover the body of electrical wire that is insulation tape it products the it products from the current so we can save from the current and when wires joining and replacing and fixing we can use this tape it will be protectors from the flow of current next one soldering desoldering i said before this one soldering gun by using this placing components and wiring and rewiring and disconnecting everything we can do by using soldering gun but after you done the work but sometimes by mistake if you place the component wrong place then you have to remove removing how to remove so by you by by using this by you by uh, using operating the desoldering system see desoldering system so this one desoldering purpose desoldering purpose what is desoldering when soldering the component in some places in electronic device in electronic medical devices electronic components are available in the pcb so then in pcb if wrong place the component then we need to replace so then what should do by using soldering gun and we wherever we need to remove then give the spot and just click it just place on here so function like this so in this we can use this for removing the for desoldering the wires and replacing placing the components on the pcb board on medical devices next one screwdriver set see friends these are the screwdrivers set because why we should have because of every components every medical equipments every electrical medical every electrical electronic medical devices should be all parts assembling by attaching the screws so we should open the screws and fixing purpose because the screws are star minus and long star and medium star and minus so in this different sizes are available but all are different functions so plus big star big uh, big big star and small star big minus and small minus so all types of screwdrivers only for to do this services the medical equipments these are especially opening and closing and removing fixing purpose we are using these all screwdrivers understand in this t10 or t20 are specific unique toolkits these are very rare using 
few equipments few companies are designed for those purpose we can use this tool kit for operating the opening and closing so these are all tool kits as a biometric engineer to do the services and open the equipment and open the equipment and closing the equipment because of without opening the equipment we cannot find out the internal problems of the electrical electronic devices so medical equipment devices we should open and whatever the things because of sometimes medical equipments have issues sometimes we should, we should no need to open because of sometimes power supply having issue and whatever operating issue then otherwise fixing the accessories issues sometimes operating issues sometimes machine may not getting on by striking whatever thing other issue but these all things good then machine still not working then that situation we need to check fuse and we need to check one by one power supply and uh, indicator everything still not working then need to open the monitor whatever the inside components are uh, good or bad we have to check it physical condition or check it and next we have to check it power supply to every components by giving the 230 volts ac so then by using by using the multimeter we can check the all components of the ratings and either working or not component uh, resistors whatever the many components are available based on the electrical components electronic components in the medical devices so power supply board display board and control board whatever board based on equipments many components are available inside so for those components we need to check it and find out the problem and resolve the problem what are the basic needs requirement to do service the equipment yes friends thank you yes i hope you can understand so these are the main basic tools actually as a biometric engineer many many big tools also available calibration kit ppm kit whatever things but these are scheduled 6 months 1 year based on quarterly or yearly as a service depend on services we need to use but these are things as a service biomedical engineer every time along these tool kits we have to go attend the job because without these things we cannot survive the job because of this is the servicing part by without tools we tools if you have more knowledge but without having tools then what to do so that's why today this topic arise in front of you because of many uh, because of many times i observed many students newcomers this video is dedicated for newcomers especially newcomers trainees and whoever comes from another branch biomedical branch is specific unique branch but many people many biomedical engineers are coming from other branches they done the ece electronics they have knowledge they have basic knowledge so they came for biomedical engineering jobs fair well and good whoever knows very well well and good sometimes somewhere some people sir done mistake so for those peoples i want to give the information so i think it will be helpful you a lot thank you so much friends for supporting me and upcoming videos i will give more and more valuable things and this one topic covered by part 1 or still part 2 part 3 part 4 available upcoming days one by one topic i will provide you thank you friends i hope you can understand thank you mm.